Hey guys, in this quick tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a PPK file. Just in case you don't know what a PPK file is and why in the world do you need to get one? It stands for Putty Private Key File and is a prerequisite to set up push services for your app. If it sounds all too tech, all you need to know is that without a PPK file, Apple won't allow you to send push notifications to your users. To create a PPK file, you are going to need three files. First, certificate signing request with .cert extension. Second, private key with .p12 extension. Third, SSL certificate with .cer extension. 1. Let's start with the first that is CSR. Open the Keychain Access application on your Mac. Select Certificate Assistant on the left hand panel. Click on Request a Certificate from a Certificate Authority. This should launch the Certificate Assistant tool. Now fill in your email address and a name for your private key. Check Saved to Disk and click on the Continue button. Your certificate signing request has been created to disk. You are now one step closer to getting your PPK file. 2. Now here's what you need to know. Once you are done creating a CSR, Keychain Access generates a public and private cryptographic key pair by default. To access it, you need to go to the login section on the Keychain panel and select Keys from the Category panel. Now you need to save it. You should find a private key with the name you used while creating the certificate signing request. Once you find it, right click on it and export to desktop. But before you do that, you need to create a password to protect the private key. Make sure you create a unique password. 3. Ok, now you have a CSR file and a private key file on your Mac. What you need to do next is Create a SSL certificate with .cer extension. Log into the iOS provisioning portal. Go to the identifiers section on the left panel and select App IDs. You can now see all the apps you've created so far. Choose the app for which you need to enable the push services. Click on the edit button. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click on create certificate button in the production SSL certificate section. This is the CSR request page. Click on the continue button. This should bring you to the generate your certificate page. Now you need to choose the .cert file saved on your Mac. Click on the generate button. Your certificate is ready to be downloaded to your Mac. The file is in .cer extension. For your convenience, you can move the file from downloads to desktop. Once you click on the done button, It'll show you all the iOS certificates you've generated so far. 4. Now when you have the .cert file, .p12 file and .cer file saved on your desktop, all you have to do, open the terminal and execute the following commands. The first one is for converting the .cer file into a .pem file. The second one's for integrating the private key and the third one is for converting the .pem file into the .ppk file. And we're done. Your PPK file is created. Congrats! Your iOS app is all set to send push notifications to your target audience. Have any queries or confusion? Just leave a comment and our experts will get in touch to assist you further.